and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another, the final day of the League to Pass Right about the regular season league here. Uh, today, I, okay, well, first of all, I'm Captain Dr. Summerzer. Joined in the booth by Lada Bead. Lada, happy birthday. Hello. Thank, thank you. Good morning to you as well. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Yeah, uh, so, yep, uh, concluding regular season of the league today, we got last location here featuring Structural Mike and Zen Arcade versus Go with McMonkey, and this is not Yoho, so, uh, again, this is a co-op animizer with Study Boots, uh, they're doing info share. we are gonna try to find the items as fast as we can, and they are gonna be sharing information between both runners today and we're gonna just other than that it's just a open 7-7 defeat candid seed pretty interesting yeah the last location are sitting at 10 and 3 top of their division uh with go sitting at 8 and 5 not too far behind so uh both teams doing a great job and should be a great uh last day here yep uh, yep last location here is locking up that top spot in the division and team go trying to get to that next spot up and hopefully get the second place with a win here. And this is Animizer. For anybody unknowing, this basically means that all the bosses are randomized. Uh, there are two, I believe, copies of two bosses. So you could find two Trinexes, you could find two Helmosaurus, who knows? Otherwise, all the enemies are randomized and we start with boots. And we, we immediately... See already <laughs> yeah. Moon Pearl. Yeah, um, hey. Moon Pearl and then Ether from uh, Sank. We did get a pendant at here. I think it was a 5 6 the Eastern. Did not catch Desert though. And we get a glove right out of Bonk Rocks too. So already two thirds of our Dark World access available early in the game. Loot two chests, get two parts of Dark World. That's fine. Yeah. Like Saha not holding on to anything useful here. This is not Yoho gonna save a quit. It's like Mike wants to go in the Eastern Palace here though. Alright, Desert's a regular crystal. Okay, it was green pendant at Hero. Okay. Okay. A little bit of money there in the Lost Woods. We got just three heading, bombs. Heading right in the Eastern Palace. Yeah, it's a pretty common play from when you're info. Oh boy, hey! <laughs> gonna have to take a little hit there, but we're gonna make it. At least it's not a red beetle. Red beetle do does two hearts of damage right now. Oh, hi, Lionel. Do you not? <laughs> and while wow, that Lionel is playing some major defense on that door. Okay. Wow, okay, good job on Mike's part getting through that door. Yeah, it looks like he took a hit off the rat to get some iframes just to get him through that door. Nicely done there for Mike. Compass right away at Easter. We got a vanilla Armos Knights. Alright, so... Unlike a normal game, this is, again, atomizers, so the enemies in Eastern Palace are randomized, so do we strictly need a bow to get to the back of Easter? Not likely, uh, but it's still logically yeah. required. Oh, and there's Dark World Access with the Mets in uh, Blindside. Already Dark World Access, yeah. Um, you know, it's just like barely two minutes of the seed. We have Dark World Access. Yep, that's that's how this works. Oh, there's a sword in the back of a uh, tavern there. That's not bad. Yeah, thank you for the sword with the boots now, finally. All right. You did see a blue male in the well. All right. Zen Arcane does get Lost Locationer's uh, Dark World access. It's going to be interesting to see if they keep one of the players in Light World just to start clearing a South Shore or see if there's any other goodies down there. We also pulled a bow out of the well, so the well's pretty stacked today, I would say. Uh, 
All right, and yeah, we do have Zen heading to the well. I'm not going to turn down blue mail this early. So Quake out of the well. Okay, so uh, Eastern Palace. Uh, maybe Eastern Palace will be able without a lamp. Kind of scary, but we'll see if some of our brothers want elect to do that. I mean, it. We got a little bit of money there on the library, or a lot of money, I guess. Three hundred is not a lot. Little. It is a welcome thing early. That's day game. That is a chess game. That's a pod. It's not quite Zora, but it's getting there. Oh, it's not Yoho. Okay, gonna run out, get their myths out of Bunk Rocks. You know, Kena Berta there on the race game. Again, with Enemizer, you will not turn down early defense. Looks like Yoho gonna up for the back of escape here. Nope, we're gonna do the keen soup first in the back of escape. Because we have mitts, I knew that. And McMonkey uh, heading south towards South Shore. Okay. I'm just being, I'm being nice, though. Bees are a bit of a nuisance. Uh, just can spawn anywhere and suddenly you can't push a block easily. Oh, yeah. Back of escape, got 10 arrows, 20 rupees, and the small key. Oh, okay. Absolutely loaded back of escape there. That small key. <laughs> All right, we got a pendant at Ice Pal, or uh, Meyer, we got 5 6 at uh, Swamp Palace. Did not catch the other two pendants, though. Uh, the other pendant. Mike, take that dark hole that's is right in the skull woods here. Ooh, nice hook shot in mini bulldog cape and the cape. Ah, thief stands the other pendant. Thank you. Okay, so if. Um... If Team Last Location or Skip South Shore, this could be a good advantage for uh, Team Go for a bit. We got Mike into the village here. Oh, and a big thank you as well to No Chibato handling all the track and doing the hard work for us today. Thank you. Doing all for tracking today. Not easy job. We appreciate the trackers. <laughs> we got uh, Yoho into the back of escape here. We got McMonkey doing a little secrets right here to do a little water walk up to Waterfall Cave. Check out what's on the island, which is just a hard piece. Because then, doing a hula head, get, setting up for that Zora money. Okay, that tells us that Team Last Location Years will not be uh, skipping South Shore, likely. I would think they'd hit up uh, what, Zora after clearing out uh, the South Shore. Yeah. Oh. And well, speaking of secrets, right there's some flippers in the front of Thieves Town. Okay, Zora is no longer technically a sequence break since flippers are regularly available. And oh, Yoho does take a death in Thieves Town. So easy to do. There could be some rude enemies, do lots of damage. 
And if you're signed up for Dark World early like these guys are, whoo! My grab of the Smith already too as well. So Zen pulling his gaggle of goodies out of Benny Boulder Cave there. And the information about the hookshot and the cape. Mike headed over to Hype Cave. And McMucky is setting up Death Mountain. Uh, no dark uh, lamp, or I should say no lamp, no flute, so... Bit of a sequence break, but you know what? You got a hook shot. Why not? Mm. Johnny not being nice. Give him the shield. Oh, oh there's the lamp. <laughs> there's the here. Oh, okay, well... Two good items and one, eh. Well, okay, well, it turns out that um, not much of a sequence break going up the mountain, but it uh, looks like uh, enemies played nicely in the dark room, so McMonkey was able to make it up there for his try. There's a bottle. What's well, right, do? We'll turn that down. Half magic on the on spec rock. That'd be a nice find when people get over to hype cave. Yeah, Yahoo's was about to get there and go, oh found the mirror. You could have got that half magic. <laughs> Everything is fine though. Yeah. Half magic, super nice in a regular mode, but in a game like Animizer, and it's amazing. You got a cape, you got blue cane. Suddenly uh, a bunch of places are looking less scary with being able to, you know, wear your cape and use your blue cane pretty freely. Speaking of nice items that are in uh, Butterfall Fairy, we got a heart container and red mail already as well, so plenty of defense going forward here. Well, unless uh, there's something at Zora area, I don't see some players getting that red mail. We got one yeah. player going there scouting that uh, Zora, unless he drops some. It's just a heart piece on Zora, so yeah, probably not going to come back with that. Ooh, the stun prize is a full fairy today. <laughs> it's really good at this boat, actually. You got That's a red like rain. seven times better than a heart piece. Yep. There's a Master Sword, too, and more money, so... Is in... Coming back here to do K45, probably you might even just head back up north, turn into Smith without saving equity. I think it'd be faster. For you. And more money there in K45. I'm a little, a little surprised to see Yoho not come here from. Well, not come here with the hookshot, make that room easier to take care of, I guess. Oh no, hookshot was here. That's right. Okay. I was like, why wouldn't they come here with the Hookshot? It's so easy to clear the shadows. Oh yeah, the Hookshot's <laughs> in there, you dummy. All right, Old is Spiral... Hammer just... Wait, is Spiral? Uh, is Spiral gonna play nice with us? Um, ooh. Ah! Nicely done, though. Oh, of course, there's one of those enemies just in the way. Nothing you can do about it. Last one of these caves I did in an Animizer had like two or three uh, Igors. <laughs> you want to run, huh? Bonk. Bonk. But we do get a bottle. Lamp mirror for Zen now as well. And looks like Mike taking the purple chest to uh, get the flippers. Yeah, this is the first trip into Thieves Town here. Looks like Zen's gonna say, I got mountain access here, let's go do the mountain. 
Alright, McMonkey pulling a big 20. And a heart piece out of, uh, what, Super Bunny? Oh, God, how did he make it through without a lamp? Oh, my goodness, there's rollers everywhere. Wow. Hey. As Yoho's, <laughs> like, telling McMonkey about this going, uh, how did you make it through there? <laughs> In Thieves Town today, there's Helma. Well, beatable at this point. Um, not great. It is a pendant, so you're going to know that at that point. I think we got two items out of the front. Oh, well, there's that ether. ether. For TR. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Mike pulling the flippers out of there, and uh, this is gonna be a uh, purple chest turned it into Swamp Palace here for Mike. Well, it is not logically beatable without the hammer, but hello, well, Specky Flipping allowed. You're you're getting you can beat it fully. Zen in the Hera, as well as it's not Yoho, but the other boomerang. Neat. Alright, purple chest is five dollars. Okay. McMonkey in the thief song gonna grab those flippers. We're listening to what Ness Mix on McMonkey Sun. Small key, we're still looking for an item here. There's the map. No compass. So what we're saying is that the uh, second item's gonna be in basement. Got you. With the compass and the boss, alright. Nope. That Nine is cult. a completely vanilla mold orb, okay. <laughs> Usually, Endemizer puts more or less eyes on Moldorm here, but today they're like, no, just regular. That's, that's so boring. If you're gonna, if you're gonna play Endemizer, put like five extra eyes on him or like remove one. And yep, we do have an item in the basement. All right, Zanarkin does have access to it. Meanwhile, we do have uh, Mike dipping in a swamp as uh, Captain predicted. Pen bombs the first shack. Just like that, we say, who needs the hammer for Swamp Palace? We're just gonna go in here and get our sword and find two or three other gun mode items. It's fine. Oh, McMonkey, why? You had info on that. There's our big piece south of the big chest. Chess, hey, is just the compass. Okay. And we got Helma in Swamp Palace. That is our first repeat we have seen. Okay, there could be one more repeat, boss. We'll see if we get one. Looks like we do have McMonkey on Team Go playing uh, same move here as Structure Mike. Friendly Diver Down Room. Oh. oh my gosh. Look at that powder. Which we should be able to logically do at this point for the game, so it's fine. Well, it's not going to be the hammer, but it could be something. Alright, well, flute could be hard to come by given that Meyer is a pendant. up here on the mountain 
There's comes the helmet fight with bombs. Again, no hammer. Alright, two more bombs. One more bomb. Got it. Yep. Well done. Eight arrows to the face. Don't die. Yeah, you'll take that right, damage boost off the fire. If you touch Helma, that's two arts of damage. Oh wait, you know, you got you got a frame now, you're fine. Yeah. I think, doesn't he? Yeah, he's he's on blue mail. And in the hookshot cave here, not much going on, but Yoho is in the Eastern Palace here, now in logic with that lamp. Alright, and uh, Mike says, no thank you, left side swamp. I did not catch to see if we got a uh, map in there or not. No, we got a compass, had a big chest. Yep. I think, that, yeah, there's one item on left side for sure. Mike headed up to the pod area. Oh, we're gonna go do. Oh, okay, right, right by uh, George there. Um, I would have at least thought about checking George at least. You got a mirror, you got flippers. Send logic. We're going straight to the pyramid here for Mike. You thought about that heart piece. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we are going to the front of escape here for Mike. This is not Yoho making the way through Eastern Palace. Yeah, make Monkey take it on Helma in Swamp. Make Monkey just tanking all the damage, just walking up to Helma with a bomb on top of his head. Hey, whatever works. Okay. You can go oh. finishing their first crystal. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't think I did see a map, so I'm pretty sure it is one item left side. Oh, we call twin, a uh, twin there. We call uh, George, uh, man under the bridge, hobo. Oh, oh, Mike. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Lionel, Mike, Mike, Lionel. Uh, Zed should have the bow. That was in Kakariko. Yep. Yeah, again, Nochi, uh, our only tracker here today, so. Um, if, if they, if, if you see something on tracker, don't hesitate to let our tracker know, because he's doing the work of two today, so. And Captain and I can't catch everything as well, so we appreciate the help. We're through some of the hardest parts, though, thankfully, for Nochi for tracking, with all the pendants and crystals marked, and uh, it's just lots of individual things happening now. Yeah. Ooh, and we do have uh, Zenarkane heading to the back of Thieves Town. Yeah, we did get a small key in the front, so, um, technically the hammer could be in the back? We're getting one more item here out of Escape and Dark Cross. And 
Dark Cross has just a heart piece, so... And Armos Knight's taking out on Yoho's side for the KM oh. of Samaria. Okay. That's not immediately helpful, but uh, that is uh, not a bad find. Instead of first check of sick kid here. Oh, how vanilla. That seems vanilla, Captain. That's a little vanilla. I think uh, Team Last Locationeers might be waiting for a uh, hammer to go to Eastern Pod area, so even if they hold off a bit longer, it's a little bit of an advantage to Team Go if they could manage to find uh, Bombos for uh, Ice Palace or Fire Rod or something. Oh, I should say that Mike is headed to Pod now, um, so. Uh, see if they elect to. I mean, we don't have a ton to do right now. So, um, mirror yes, checks. Gonna do mirror checks, yep. Otherwise, logically, it looks like Pod is our answer, I would think. Quite possibly. Now, Pod's likely to have a Bombos or Fire Rod at least, I think. Maybe a flu to get him in a Mire area, because that Samaria out of Eastern could push him there. Get a map. We got a compass chuck. There is Skull Woods. We got Ergus. Well done, Captain. Thank you. Oh, look at it. Mike go up with this hover. The just hardest casual, hover in the game. Just a casual hover. It's fine. There's the hammer in, in Graveyard Ledge. Okay, and Mike uh, almost got that, but not quite. So likely yeah. Mike's going to stay put. There okay, it is. Got, got it practically first try. Mike's probably going to stay put and get the info on pod. Nope. We're leaving. Nope. We're not. Nope. We're continuing on. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense because you could do everything but the boss. So what what he could do now is pretty much head over, get the hammer, come back and combo pod Eastern. Yep. Yeah, Zen making a beeline right for pod now. And a bottle. It's our third bottle. Nice. Gosh, what are we? Fire Rod? Maybe Ice Rod? From Go at this point? From not from... I, for our knowledge? Maybe. Yeah. It looks like Team Go is about to go get that. Oh, there's that bottle number four. It's just hanging out on a bumper. Uh, but we got Team Go about to go get that hammer, too. All right, so that does give us hammer peg. Thieves down big chest. Ugh, thieves down big chest. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I wasn't watching uh, Zen when they went back into Thieves Town if we got both other items, other items back there. I don't know. Okay, we got both members of Last Location Years in the pod. Um, ow! <laughs> pod not being nice. Compass, we got that's another repeat. That's Argus's spot. Okay, that leaves what one cold stare, Viddy, Trinex, Landmo. Uh, let's see, Mafia out there somewhere.
I think that does put... When Team Go does go to pod... I think they basically just need a Fire Rod for Skull. And unless we need an Ice Rod for Trinex somewhere along the way, uh, it could be a Fire Rod from Numbo at this point. Mm-hmm. For sure, yeah. You see Zen describing the big key here. We're gonna head straight to the back now, as there was nothing else in pod to worry about. Mike gonna go get his hammer. Yeah, as chat points out, we could still need an ice rod. Depends where that Tridex shows up. Oh yes, that ice rod is very weird, but if there's no Tridex, this is named the Crystal Dungeon. Tridex could be in GT too. There's one one spot everybody loves to see uh, Tridex at in, in GT when they're not the ones racing. True. And Zen saying, you know what? I'm good, thank you. I, I don't need I, I don't need this room. Just just get get ethered. Yeah. Yeah, Medallia is just such a useful tool in this mode, because you're gonna walk into a room with like 80 enemies and you just be like, nope. Ether, bombos, whatever. Just take them all out at once. Okay, hammer pegs here for Mike. Pex has a mushroom. Huh. Yeah, let's just gonna get a look at the powder check here as well. Or a heart container. I won't turn that down. And that is another crystal on the board for last location years. And with Monkey almost saying hi to that same uh, roller that got uh, Mike a couple times. Managed to avoid it though. Mike about and, to be and, well rewarded. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. And Zen in the Easter Palace here. Gotta find out that cane, so. And Mike back in the Thief Zone. Now, Yoho, into the left side swamp area here. We have not seen this. No, there is an item over here. And we are running out of locations for this fire ought to be. Never mind. Um, I guess we're not. Do they just think about going there and not do it? Apparently. It could be Bombos or Fire Rod for Ice Palace. And frankly, Fire Rod could be go mode at this point. I, oh, I don't oh know. they finished it already. Okay, it was just a hard piece on left side swab, so. Wow, I totally missed that. I did too. Thank you, chat. Love you, chat. Love you, love you, our tracker. Yo, no, wait, tracker. Yo, Nochi, Nochi, not. Yo is, yo is, uh, you know, you know, running. Uh, Nochi, our tracker, pointing out. Thank you, thank you. We love you, my friend.
Okay, we're gonna see the Thesa big chest here on Mike's screen. Which is unchecked at this point. So that must have our fourth and final item, too. I mean, what do we have left, Captain, as far as checks go? Hmm. Uh, mushroom? Bike cave is now an option. Oh. Era basement? Oh, man, you are just coming at us with all the knowledge. <laughs> One thing we do know, though, Captain. What's that? Scottish doesn't have to get too mad at Zen this seed. True. He does have the lamb. Everything is fine there. All right, big chest, Steve. Sound. What do you got? Twenty bucks. Thanks, game. Mike in that information about the cane now. Gonna head over and pot, finish up pot in Eastern. Uh, Mike or Zen gonna go finish up swamp here. Be fairly quick clear. I think you gotta send either Zen or Yoho up to here pretty soon to do basement uh, spike cave combo, wouldn't you? Oh, catfish. We haven't seen this uh, special being mm -hmm. yet this evening. Yeah, there's yeah, we don't talk about catfish. Catfish is, is junk. You can you can skip it, it's nothing. Yeah, just mark it off your tracker already. Everything is fine. See? Oh yeah, Zora. I don't think we've seen Zora yet either. Oh yeah. Well, I mean Okay, yo just skipping red mail, I'm good. It's fine, just skipping it. Yeah. Got six hearts, blue mail, everything is fine. It's slow. So, what do you got? Oh. Oh. Okay, both the fishes are disappointing. Giving you a combined Zen. total of one half heart. Yep. Is then gonna go ahead and knock out left side swamp here. Knows there's one item over here. Agina. Oh yeah, we haven't seen Agina. I guess Where's we Agina? do need a way in the desert tea too, huh? Um. Right. Oh yeah, I guess. Fl Book or flute for that. I guess. I uh, suppose. I mean, this is like HMG, right? You could just kind of clip up there. It's fine. As a matter of fact, it is not HMG, so we can't do that. Oh. <laughs> Twenty dollars. Oh. Add again. I'm not going to do too much with that. Uh, while we are uh, kind of in a bit of a lull here, don't forget to give these two runners a follow. Up. Putting on a great show. Links are going to be in chat here. Thank you, Captain. Uh, while you're at it, follow my co com, Captain1977. And as well, follow our tracker, doing a great job today, Nochi Bottom. Links are also in chat. 
Yep, don't forget Lana Bean, she's there too, and... Hey chat, today's Lana's birthday, so... Who told? <laughs> Who was that? Alright, we got Spike Egg going on Yoho's side. Is this our answer? My cave has no... Okay, so here a basement, anybody? I mean, Yoho is running out of Spike Cave here, so this could be a play up in the Hera basement. Ooh, front of TR is available too, yes. Oh my Lanta, I didn't even think about Turtle Rock. <laughs> Turtle Rock is just fully completable potentially if the key layout is good. Not yeah, like not yeah. likely, but it could be. Alright, someone tell McMonkey that he has medallions, um please. <laughs> So we just go 10 minutes back and go tell McMonkey. I'm just kidding, they're racing and they're probably not watching chat, it's fine. Nice armor skill there on McMonkey's size. Get that Cadence to Mario. And this is not Yoho, give it us a check. We all want to see here. Hera Basement, is this our answer? Who doesn't love your basement, everybody? It is a heart piece. Okay, uh, okay. Turtle Rock seems to be our answer today. We are out of dungeons to do besides going to Turtle Rock. We cannot go in Desert. We cannot go into the back of Swamp. We cannot go into Ice Palace. Well, we can go in, we just can't do much. Can't go into Mire. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much it. Yep. Or Pyramid Fairy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I guess. Oh my gosh, I forgot that. Like, it, it, I can't see Pyramid Fairy crystals as easily on the tracker we look at. Oh, the Eastern. Zen does know Pyramid Fairy is available. Gonna go check that right now. Eastern Swamp, I could see that now. And looks like Mike appropriately using Ether for the back of Eastern being like, you know what? Let's just say no. Oh, that mushroom here, a hammer pixie, gosh. Or wow. George. Or George. We have a yeah, no one's checked George. Show George some love. Woo! I didn't know that bomb started. Oh my gosh. Is that almost the bomb almost went off while George was giving him items? Yeah. Okay, okay, that one check in TR we can get was a smoky, so we're going on. <laughs> Mike doing the correct strat here. Double ether with those uh, red berries. Yeah, Bombo, she can take out all out in one, but we don't have any way to ice mill us. Okay, Pyramid Fairy, are you the answer? Yes, you are. Yes. And ew. Yes. That is potential go mode here for last location years. As, uh, Yoho keeps going on. And taking that fire rod right to Ice Palace already. Oh, wait, we still need a way in the desert. That's not go mode. Sorry. I keep forgetting that. We still need a book or a flute. Oh, 
What's a Barker flute? Who needs that? I mean, this is HMG, right? We discussed this. Everything is fine. Yep, the mushroom yielded one dollar. All right, looks like Mike heading right towards that fire rod, understandably. Uh, McMuggy deciding, no, what? Mountain's not for me. Let's go ahead and go maybe somewhere else. Only check they have left in TR is well, it's not in TR. It's uh, Mimic Cave. So, we got a bottle toss in for a green potion. It looked like a blind there in Ice Palace. Oh my gosh! Okay, Team Go, we're going for two things that won't ultimately work out. I mean. If Yoho does end up getting a flute, that's going to push them off further from the Fire Rod. Or Book. Oh my gosh. Nice tempered. Yeah. But that is the end of the journey there, so... And... Not Yoho starting at stink. One dollar for the mushroom turn in. We did see that a little bit ago. I just forgot to point it out. Guess who acknowledges the dollar? But we did see the powder. It was a heart, heart container. Team Go, unfortunately, not going the Pyramid Ferry here. Well, they've had access to it for quite a bit. They were the first to do Eastern and Swamp. Okay, looks like Mike is going to go pick up that Red Mail. Not a bad call. And get a little more health. A little more defense. I mean, right now, Mike hasn't even gone to East Death Mountain for that uh, sword. And that team is probably not going to check Mimic Cave either for Tempered. Yeah, if they, if they end up going to TR, Go Modi TR, then yeah, I'm probably not going to see that. So, um, a TR could be our answer as we do have the Fire Rod now, so. That's true. We still need, like you said, Book or Flute, but... Yeah, I guess if we're still looking for that, they're probably going to not, not skip that, but who knows. The shovel is still outstanding, which would be really funny if that were a nice rod, but other than that... So we got both teams not quite living up to their names, though. We've got Team Last Location Ears that are not Last Location. We've got Team Go that's not in Go. What the heck? We've been lied to, you, Captain. <laughs> I feel lied to. And I don't think they pulled anything out of Ice Balls here, so it looks like Mike's electing just a Go mode here. Gonna hit the switch. And Zen's headed up to TR. Well, Tierra seems to be the play. The back is gonna, or the front, really. Gonna have, yeah. uh, what, big key on the front right side, otherwise... Yeah, hard to say. But book or flute looks highly likely in, in TR. Or shovel. Yeah. 
Mickey Monkey trying to figure out what they're missing. Could be a case of misbarking the red crystals and not realizing which was a red. Starting up the mountain here. Okay, so this is uh, McMonkey. He's going to steal the Pokey Key and head to the back of TR. As uh, Yoho checked the big chest, big key chest in TR. Just going to pick up the half magic. And look, it's a moth and skull and Whoa. ice house. I missed that. Look where Yoho's going. Uh-oh. Is this the Pyramid Fairy play finally? Looks like it. Yeah, I think McMonkey realized it too. Yeah, they're just both headed right for Pyramid Fairy. Not gonna feel great having Pyramid Fairy open for what 15 20 minutes now. Yeah, it could have been a misbarking of the red crystals there on that team on Team Go. Open up your menu and be like, I have two red crystals. Did you realize this? Getting that fire rod, getting that shovel, getting that green potion. Alright, so at that point, I would presume you would send your runner who's already been to TR back to TR to clear, and your other runner goes to Skull. Sapphire Rod for both members of Tigo. One set at the Ice Palace. And Mick Monkey getting some direction here. Uh, shovel check right away? Yes. Yes, yeah, this is a shovel. I mean, if that's a vanilla check. flute, that's go mode. It is nope. not. Got Mike and the uh, Go Woods here now. Like Mick Monkey is also headed to Go Woods now. in that arena is so annoying. You fall right on it. Unavoidable damage. So if you end up falling there on low percent and green armor, that's an automatic loss of like two health. Plus, Mike's still on that fire sword, so not an easy fight. <laughs> Zen getting that tempered out of Mimic Cave. I call this the menu boss, everybody. For a reason. Some new checks going up here on Zen's side, too, with the back of TR. Thankfully, they got red mail, so it doesn't hurt as bad.
Okay, the hard part's over. Now you just gotta hit Argus into the into the spikes here a few times. It, yes, Argus does take spike damage, so there we go. Argus down. I'm sorry, Argus. <laughs> Then end up on laser bridge here. And take the safety door because ouch. Um good spot for a big stop us there. Yeah. Stop us yeah, night the the There's oh, the book! There's go mode for team last location here. <laughs> Okay, so there's double go mode for Team Lost Locationers, <laughs> unless Ice Tranex is a thing. Yeah, yeah, we s Oh! Zen almost got hard or soft lock there with that cape going through the door and taking it off. Alright, so Team Go was on the right track for their go mode, however, the game kind of prevented them from getting to that, which is kind of good in their case because they were forced into Pyramid Fairy pretty quickly, where uh, if the flute or book were earlier in the game, especially, well, uh, earlier in TR, especially if it was flute, that would push him maybe to Mire before even going to Pyramid Fairy. Yeah, my, my... My... Okay, Mike headed back up the mountain here. Hasn't even been up the mountain yet, so, so that's the safety host, man. Ouchie. Ouchie. As Mike is like, how did you make it through this room earlier? <laughs> oh, Zen had the lamp when he did it, I think. Or someone didn't have a lamp. I don't know. All right, so it's like this is not Yoho headed back to TR here. Uh, Mix says that uh, they got the front cleared out, so just have to check the back now. Like monkey in the ice palace here as well. And we got Zen going to activate that flute faster than the book. Yes, it is. It's our safety of half magic. See you later, Hera. We don't need you. It's pendant. Still theoretical at this point. That ice rod is still looming. But we're very likely going on. We have not seen a Trinex yet. So there are two things left preventing us from being in go mode. One is a ice Trinex. No ice rod. Two is a ice rod or an uh, Trinex on the climb can be first. Uh, what Molnarm two? Mm -hmm. No, uh, Landmo two could be. Landmo two. There we go. Yes. Okay, so Yahoo is on the Gummo path. But is it going to be a little too little too late for Team Go here? We'll see. That Pyramid Fairy uh, after Turtle Rock Dip is, is costly.
is uh, Zen Arcane nearly got picked up by the hand, but it does avoid it. Okay, Zen gonna have a little easier time with the Argus fight too, but tempered. Pretty nice, pretty nice to have. Okay, so Zen's just gonna have to go to Desert, take care of that, and that's gonna be Crystal number seven. Desert Arena can have a Trinex as well, so they are not quite out of the woods yet. Oh, Desert has the Trinex, and the Ice Rod is out in the open somewhere. We just have to go find it, uh, and there's not a lot of places left. Now, minor area of a likely culprit of Ice Rod, if anything. Uh, but, yeah, pedestal is always a thing, too. Okay, so Mike likes to go ahead and pick up that sword. Um, but I can't see him skipping tempered. It's too easy to get. And it will save you enough time in, tier in GT alone. Yeah, the other sort just in Paradox, so yeah, it's, you're up here already. I don't see them not grabbing it. I don't see Skip in the book either, simply because, well, the Ice Rod could be on a tablet. Yes. We got Vanilla Big Key and Desert. And we do have uh, Team Go officially in Theoretical Go Mode as well. See Zen checking the Desert Ledge. We got a blind in TR, so... Zen Arcane, first one into Desert Palace boss. Which boss do we have today? Which which boss do we have? Okay, there we go. And down! Oh. We need that ice rod, everybody. And it is out there. Um... It's just under the doormat, right? I mean, that's the kind of the good news for them, is that this does guarantee there's going to be no Trinex in GT, so... That puts what? Um... Yeah, Vitreous, we could have a GT. Vitreous and Cold Stare on the climb, probably? Yeah, that's not fun either. <laughs> Here's the compass letting us know, hey, there's a Tridex in the desert. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Uh, but we got all the Meyer area to scout out here, including Meyer itself, probably. Unless it's Bombos, which it probably well, isn't. We've got checks not limited to anything at this point, so... Worst case, oh, there, there it is. is. Alright, all right, never mind. That. Everything's fine. That's official uh, go mode officially. for last location here, so. Official go mode now, yes. Oh my gosh, Mike, why? Why? Yep, 
you're like, oh, here's an ice rod hunt. Oh, it's just right there. First check you do after you find out you need it. Oh, uh, Mike, yeah, Mike did not grab that sword. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Mike's gonna have to go back up the mountain again one more time anyway, so I imagine just gonna go through the TR portal and then go up, uh, on the way up, probably just do the, get the sword. It will make for a little bit longer of a try next fight, but not horribly. Zen first one to seven crystals, though. We take down Trinex. Hey, we can play a little game here. What do you think, Captain? Sure. Oh, we got 22, 22 mm -hmm. idols in GT. And I'm going to play a bonus game with you. What kind of bosses we going to see in T uh, GT? But um, I guess we already kind of know. Since we haven't seen, like, Vitrius or Colts here, so... One to twenty-two, where's the big key? And what bosses are we gonna find in GT? Well, we know the bosses, but where are they? Well, we have to see that ice boss. Um, Zen? Oh, that's... Zen? Oh wait, Zen, Zen's got the sword, that's right. It's Mike who's gotta pick it up, right? Right. But I think if you have the TR portal open, it's still a little faster to go up through Paradox, isn't it? Not? Did Mike pick up his ice rod? I missed it. Uh, yeah, he would have. Because, uh, right. Zen would have related to him. And you gotta take Oh, there's your... a Harkitator! You're gonna take the portal anyway, so yeah. Alright, that is official goal mode there for Go. Picking up the ice rod out of Meyer shed. Did you know how to do that before even going in a desert? I believe so. Wow. Foresight, well done. All right, we are into GT. We're starting off by going towards Stalfos. Ten arrows, check one. Uh, to answer a question in chat, Mike is on Master Sword because he just hasn't gotten a Paradox. He'll get it on the way back up GT. I hope so. If he doesn't, Zen has not relayed some information, or they just forgot. Or Mike doesn't care. Or or that. I, I can't see him not caring, but... Eh. We'll see. Alright, let's check number six for Zen. Eight. Compass. The only compass that's not useful in this game right now. Yep. Alright, crystal number seven for Zen Arcane as well. Not there either. This will be 8, 9, 10, 11 for Zen Arcane. Eight, hard piece. Nine, map. Ten, hard container. Eleven, hard piece. Back to the right. Go on the rando, right? Avoid, 
Avoid that ice boss as much as you can. <laughs> hope room. There it is. Just in hope room. Oh, game. That'd be number 12. Okay, yep. Yeah. And Mike is... Oh, Mike is... Okay, Mike is gonna get that sword. He's had it through Paradox, so yeah. He's gonna grab the sword. And Jim Carr... Jim Carr 666, the first to guess number 12. Well done, GG Steve. Hey, you win the almost... Is sword. You missed the... You, you kinda... You win the utmost respect from Captain and myself. And a free supply of rando seeds brought to you by LTTPR.com. Have fun. GG. GG. As Mike decides to walk off the edge. <laughs> Where's Yoho going? Oh, he's going to clean up pot, okay. Yoho has not been to pot at all. Um... See what we have at Landmo 2 today. It oh, it's just Landmo. Okay. And that is crystal number seven for McMonkey. Yeah, unfortunately, uh Team Go kind of I don't know, might have just been mistracked, might have been just forgot on both sides, but that Pyramid Fairy was just put off for 10 minutes too long, unfortunately. It did look like both of the runners were kind of scrambling for a minute or two, trying to think, what did we miss? And then finally realizing it at the same time, where both runners just went towards Pyramid Fairy. Yep. Uh, Fire Rob was at Pyramid Fairy, so very required. We got a fire snake in the torch room, that's fine, okay. Then showing the power of those safeties that you would have. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Coming up in just a bit though, we do have uh, Bottles on Empty versus Terra Enigma on Speed Gaming 2. That'll be at uh, 1 10 p.m. Eastern coming up in a little less than an hour on SG2. There are other races going on in both uh, the Invitational and Opens. Nothing with a set restream though. As we see Cold Stare at the Old Orb 2 spot, which probably means Vitreous was at the Ice spot, which is not a fun fight. Thank God we didn't have to see it. Mike using quite a bit of magic, probably gonna have to pop that green potion. I don't think he's gonna be too scared to do that though. Yeah. 
All right, make monkey nice. finding. Sorry, guys. Zen just having a really nice sag of right here, hitting those. These are not nice fighters, so Zen's getting a lot of hits on them. And down goes Aga. With the Master Sword, or the Tempered Silverless, you're talking about it, maybe a high 116 for the finish time for Zen. If it continues, that is. And we do have McMonkey on the climb. And setting up for that nice one in one here on Ganon. I think we got it. Sure did. Nicely done. down cold stare Sen running a little bit low on magic but should be fine Ooh, got the spin off I didn't think he'd do it One more spin for Zen. I lied. There's the spin. All right. Y'all know the drill. Everybody get your Chi Chi's in chat for Zen Arcane and Last Location Ears Part 1. Looks like Zen Arcane does cross the line, finishes in first place overall, 116.40 for racetime.gg. Looks like Structure Mike not too far behind here, just taking out Agatu and McMonkey headed up the climb here. And this is now your host starting the climb. Snake being very confused. I am not usually in this arena, what the heck? Puffs down. There they go. Alright, we got Structural Mike finishing up Ganon. We have Mick Monkey heading towards Aga 2. This is not Yoho. Midway through the climb.
And that will do it for Structural Mike and get your second GG's in chat for the last location years. Gonna take this race down and win it for the team. An official race time of 119.18. Well done to Team Last Location Ears. Get both these teams headed to the playoffs. Uh, last Location Ears solidifying that top spot in the division. Two down for McMonkey, and we do we have. Are now the... joined... oh, sorry. No, uh, you go ahead. No, we are now joined by Structural Mike and Zen Arcane. GGS guys. GGS. Thank, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. GGS to you both. How about that fire rod? Uh, yeah. I don't remember anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice rods, um, for sure. That's good. Yeah, I, I mean, how worried were you when it, when Desert Boss and you saw the try next year? You're like, I uh, don't have a lot of locations left, but um, yeah. more relief than anything, you know. You don't want to go to GT without the ice rod and be like, I hope I don't need a try next ice rod here. So it's better to have yeah. it on on desert. So uh, if you're in a, in in an, an underdog, baby, and you want an out. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I felt relief. <laughs> what about you, Sen? Did you, did you feel relief when it was Trinix? Uh, sort of, yeah, because I mean, we didn't have much. Like, I was going to go straight into Meyer anyway if it was in there. I mean, we had Meyer Shed and Checkerboard right there really quick. So it wasn't awful. I mean, the, the only kind of nagging thing was the item that got left in Hera, honestly, but mm -hmm. well. We're not going to talk about that item. <laughs> I don't know why you were in Hera to begin with, so it's fine. <laughs> Just the green pendant. Who needed it, right? Yeah. It's sort of funny seed, like with the way you have to go both south and north to get your shit together. But uh, so I don't think any of us felt bad or or particularly worried, other than we needed to use stay on track and not mess up anything in a huge manner um so well it was an exceedingly close race until uh, uh team go kind of forgot about the pyramid fairy that's unfortunate yeah uh they basically had access first to pyramid fairy having both swamp and eastern beaten uh before you guys did but just kind of kept putting it off or forgetting about it we're not sure yeah, like it did both. Like, the, what did they have a play that would had beaten both? Uh, they basically full cleared everything and ended up doing uh, Pyramid Fairy at the exact same time. Yeah, yeah, that can happen. It's unfortunate. All right, everybody, um, get your sorry about that really quick. Get your GGs in chat for Mick Monkey. Sorry, might go ahead and continue. No, no, I I don't know what I was saying. Unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> we we had our misfortunes too in Thieves Town, <laughs> but so they didn't add up to as much as their misfortunes. So that was good for us, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, their team decided to go ahead and not take a chance on Desert. One end check Meyer Shed before going into Desert. Got that ice rod, so helped a did, little did, bit. Did they also check the second chest in in Meyer Shed? Yeah, yeah, it was a hard container. Oh, Sen. <laughs> <laughs> Sen didn't check it, and when I was in there, I was like, surely he checked the second chest. So he I asked him, because I was so curious hard. while I was leaving. He's like, no, no, I didn't check that. I was in go mode. He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then I said, don't worry, the silvers are just in mire. It's fine. And well, I was right. Yeah, you, you were right. You were right. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It all worked out. It's all coming up, Senhouse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, going in the playoffs here, coming up. Um, you took first place in the division. Congratulations. Um, 
You got playoffs coming up here in a bit. How you how you feel your chances are in the playoffs? Uh, I feel I don't know. Like we, we, we actually have clinched the, the conference as well, if I'm not mistaken. We have. Um, so we'll be top seed. I don't know how that happened or if we deserve it, but I'll I'll take it. Uh, it's been a bit cool. Now we get to play more rando for the next. I don't know how many months does this go on for. Eighteen, uh, at least, at least <laughs> eighteen, nineteen, something like that. I think it ends sometime around November eighty-seven, something like that. Yeah, that's yep. that's that sounds about right. Yeah, Sen, how do you feel? <laughs> I mean, as long as we get to play more Animizer, sure. Oh yeah, there's gonna be more <laughs> Animizer. If you're up against us, prepare yourself for Animizer. Uh, that's all I can say. I mean, Sorry, Scottish uh, Brave. <laughs> I mean, Zen practically did go more basically when he when he got that lamp. I mean, at least Scottish doesn't have to get too angry this time. No, he rushed that lamp like yeah, I've never seen him rush anything <laughs> before. <laughs> but I can't imagine it, what it, the conversation was like. But yeah, <laughs> I was like, there's also a mirror in there, Sam. Uh, it's like yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, well, I, I know. Uh, it's I, the lamp I want. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta keep myself off the couch somehow. <laughs> uh, so and I got to Jojo around with uh, with a Smith for for a while. That was funny. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. And a really quick GGs to this is not Yoho and Team Go. We do have this is not Yoho finishing with a official race time by GG time one twenty five forty four with McBuggy one twenty two twenty six GGs to the move. We'll see if we can get him in here for an interview as well with Team Last Location Ears. So one thing that we did kind of chuckle about though really quick. Uh, oh, I guess we do have uh, the other team in chat. Never mind. Okay, so this is not Yoho. Uh, yeah, hello, GGs to you. We'll see if we can get the. Uh, hey, hey. So no, McMonkey has declined the interview. I will be representing Team Go in these negotiations. Fair enough. GGs, <laughs> Yoho. Yeah, I mean, GGs, not, not Yoho. Uh, not yeah. Yoho. <laughs> so we'll start off with the same question. Uh, mm -hmm. How about that fire rod? Yeah, that was a uh, big mistake on our part. Just a uh, just a uh, miscommunication between us, and then yeah, and we we got it. But that would have. Uh, I think if we'd have gone to Pyramid earlier, that we it would have been very competitive. So yeah, just unfortunate. It would have been an execution advantage to whoever at that point, maybe. But yeah, it would have been exceedingly close without that double dip to TR. If you guys go to Pyramid Ferry, I'd say you guys are about ten minutes faster from an estimation, maybe. Yeah, yeah, could be. So, eh, it happens. Yeah. Hey, you're already in the playoffs, so it's not a huge deal. But I mean, if we won here, we were just going to play last location here. Oh, uh, who doesn't want who doesn't want to play last location? Well, I mean, <laughs> it would have been a full division week seven rematch for the first week of playoffs, and that would have been that would have been uh, weird. weird. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh so. yeah, because Wash would have gotten spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Wash, Wash are playing spoilers. So, but still, a very yeah. good match. There's some entertaining stuff like that. Uh, what was it? The uh, what was that door guarding enemy near the beginning there? East in Eastern Palace, I think it was. Was it? Oh, the, the funny land molas, and uh, not land uh, Lionel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Lionel, the Lionel, and the Hinox just hanging out there. Yeah, you gotta negotiate. And like, you move. No, no, I'll stay. Well, I had, I was, I went in <laughs> from like, uh, I went on there on half a heart, so I just went ahead and just, you know, died. So. Uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's just, bad. Just, just a, just a warm up bad. room. Just a. All right, I've got the intel now. I'm ready. Well, I'm dead. Click. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then Mike ended up being like, well, I guess I'm just deboosting off of the the rat, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, there was uh, a that's... rat there right by him. He just took a little deboost off it and be like, yep, that's fine. <laughs> Good times. 
Yeah, but honestly, like there weren't there wasn't that much bad stuff in so it was a it was a pretty good seed. Yeah, you yeah, had it, all it the safeties, yeah. so yeah. I, I wasn't a fire sword for the longest time though. Like I had this uh, idea that I would single dip the mountain. Uh didn't work in the end, since both book and the flute was in TR, okay. but uh, that's <laughs> yeah. why I, I, I wasn't a fire sword until Sen told me that those items were there. It's like oh, okay. I'm gonna go well, up and get my swords now. And it turns out the book was useless. You just needed uh, that flute. Well, unless you wanted a mirror shield. No, we don't. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> why, why? Why? No, no shields. No. It will really help out in the eastern entrance. <laughs> it would have. Yeah, yeah. It would. Yeah, just yeah. boost off the rats. It's fine. Or just walk through the line. That's fine too. The game gave you two free armor upgrades. Hmm. Two? Yeah. I do not know where this second armor upgrade was. I think McMonkey oh, held out no. on me a little bit. Water? Did you get Waterfall Fairy? No, they didn't. <laughs> oh, no. That was, uh, wasn't the heart there as well? Yeah. yeah, was, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was on like four hearts for a while. I think it's still... to Waterfall Fairy, man. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> they found the true reason. Uh, the only th I think the only thing he said was a heart in there, so. We found the true reason, right, McMonkey? Oh, he told me about the heart, but not the melee. Upgrade. I think maybe he said armor upgrade. I don't know. As, like I heard, I heard just, like don't don't worry about it. And then red heart. Yeah. I McMonkey declined the interview. Yeah, I heard armor upgrade. I was like, how can I route in catfish? That was my thought immediately, and I did in the end to get that armor upgrade. We were kind of wondering amazing. a little bit about that, but we were like, well, that's an armor upgrade, it's fine. Yeah. How else would you get to Ice Palace unless you take that to our pool? I, I don't know. I have no idea. It's yeah. Mystery. I mean, it didn't affect me that much. I didn't have, other than that Eastern thing, I didn't have any, any death that mm. I didn't expect, so... It all worked out okay. Yeah. No I Ice Trine access, no... Vitreus on Vita Sword in, in Skull Woods. Yeah, after the uh, the pyramid thing, we were we were like, well, we could still need Ice Rod, and that'd probably be our best bet. Is if there was an Ice Trinex fight to go through. I mean, it'd be unfortunate to uh, Rando Rush, but who would do that? Uh, Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Hello. Objectively, the correct strat. Changed my mind. <laughs> I will not take any DMs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. All right. So, uh, same question to you. Uh, not your whole. Uh, how you feeling going into the playoffs here? Uh, uh I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's playoffs. Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah. know. I haven't done playoffs before. This is my first season in league at all, so. Oh, hey. Uh -huh. hey, GGs. You gonna mm -hmm. play more co-op? Uh, do you guys gonna pick yeah, uh, retrans AD? Retrans AD? Yeah. Who knows? I I. We'll have to Edomizer? discuss it. It it really depends on who our opponent is, because mm. that's being determined today, this afternoon, later. So. Yep. Oh, good luck to you, and good uh, good luck to uh, last location years and to go in the playoffs. But um, yeah. any final words from our runners here? As we're about to call it here. So um, yeah, thanks for the restream. Thanks for the tracking. It looked like that was like a uh, a last minute tracking sign up for thanks for uh, for getting in there. And uh, yeah, thanks for the restream. That was it. Thanks for the uh, for the match, guys. It's fun. Yeah. No, thank you. And just echoing, you know, everything not Yoho said, um, you know, thanks for putting this on for us. And I hope we uh, entertained everyone. It was a great watch for sure. Thank you to all of you for putting on such great show. Uh, we're going to get links in the chat again for following these uh, four runners. They did a fantastic job. They're going to continue into the playoffs here coming up soon. There we go. Thank you very much to Captain for linking that. And also thank you to Captain for co-comming with me today. He was like, you know what, let's let's do this. I was like, sure. And then we signed up and here we are. Uh, and a huge thank you to 
our tracker Nochibato is signing up last minute for tracking as well. Otherwise, we just do have, what, one more race on the schedule that is going to be guaranteed restream here shortly. I think it's 1.10 p.m. Eastern on S Speed Gaming 2, a Bottles on Empty versus Terra Enigma. Otherwise, thank you everybody for hanging out. Uh, Captain, why don't you go ahead and take us out here? Yep. yep. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, yep. Uh, we're nearing the end of the league season, so um, get ready for the playoffs here coming up soon. Um, not sure if we have a time yet. Is there a week off in between? I'm not sure. Uh, but um, yeah. Uh, GG's both teams again. Um. But yeah, uh, for myself, Nochi, Tracky, Lana on comms, it's her birthday, don't forget. And don't, <laughs> don't forget to follow everyone. Have a good day, everybody. We'll see everyone later. Bye, everybody.